What's up YouTube, it's Pretzel one here again today with another deck profile for you guys. This is my version 2 of my Chaos Samorg uh, deck profile. Uh, if you guys watched the first deck profile for this uh, deck, it was the day before the Michigan Regional Qualifier event. Um, I don't think I mentioned it in any of my other videos, but this deck went 4-4 four and four at the event. I wasn't really happy with that. I figured it could have done a lot better if I put some more time and effort into playtesting it and... Uh, uh, you know, just testing different cards in it and stuff. So uh, I wanted to get everyone's opinion on this deck. I've made some changes to it since the last video. That's why I wanted to show it in this video. And I'm going to thoroughly explain why I have each card in here right now. And uh, some cards that I might consider. So the main, the whole deck is on TCGplayer.com. I'll have a link to that below. But this is just the main deck. The side deck and uh, extra deck are ir irrelevant to this video. So without further ado, let's get started. We still have the two Dark Samorgs, one, one of the main uh, monsters in the deck, along with the BLS and the Chaos Sorcerer. We now have two Caius the Shadow Monarch instead of three. Uh, I'll sh explain why this is dropped down to two and the Rises are completely out in just a little while. We still have the Gores, of course, and Sangin, and now we have a card trooper and a dandelion. Now uh, I like both of these cards. They're both really good level three monsters. This is a draw one when it dies and it mills three, so it serves the purpose of uh, getting darks, lights, and winds in the graveyard. Along with this, when it is sent to the graveyard, I get two free tokens on the field to prevent like things like OTKs uh, and all that kind of stuff. And they're there for uh, tributes for Caius if I, you know, want to do that. The problem with these guys is that they're earth, um, so once they're in the graveyard, they're just kind of sitting there doing nothing. So, I don't know, I thought these were good tech choices, but I'm not sure. So, let me know what you guys feel about that, too. Uh, we're still running the Light Sworn and Psychic engines, they're just a little modified. I have three Rikos, and I decided to take out the Lila. And now we're running one Debris Dragon, and still the three Flying Kamakuri level one. Uh, the Flying Kamikiri level 1 almost always worked for me uh, at the event. The only time it really didn't work was in like round 6 or 7 when I drew 2 of them and milled the 3rd one right away. But other than that, it really saved me from like wind up OTKs and stuff like that. And uh, the Debris Dragon is a tech choice right now. I can search it with this once all 3 of these die. And I can special summon a Raikou, Card Trooper, or Dandelion from my graveyard. Um, once I normal summon him, so I don't know. I was I was running a uh, quick draw synchron, but uh, you know it just wasn't that good. It's a neg one, and yeah, it's just not that good, in my opinion. So on to the psychic engine. We still have our triple crabons along with one mind protector. This is because I'm running three emergency teleports in it right now, and I wanted to always have you know it to it like live I didn't want a dead E teleport in my hand so I added this because I figured it's another light monster it's a good psychic and can be used for synchroing and tributing and things of that nature that's it for the monsters we're down to 21 instead of 27 uh, the problem with the deck I'm experiencing right now is that I'm milling too many of my spells and traps yes I do have traps now so uh, let's get on to those so I can explain myself further Three MSTs, have to run those. One Dark Hole, Monster Reborn, and Heavy Storm. Those are the staples. Still charge of the Light Brigade to search out the Rikos and send cards to the graveyard. Now I'm running one Allure of Darkness and two Pot of Dualities. Now all three of these cards may be controversial to the deck because this removes something from play and this prevents me from special summoning. But I think the draw power is key in any deck this uh, format. You know, just to be able to access your cards quickly and when you need them. Uh, it's a main factor that separates the better decks from the not so good decks. So, uh, and you don't always special summon either. You still have your Ryko plays, your normal summon Krebons play, your uh, Flying Kamakiri plays, and, you know, things of that nature too. And now we have traps to back us up as well. Uh, like I said, now we're running three E-Teleport, 
so we can get more special summons and synchros a lot faster. And yep, that's it for the spells. I believe there's 13 of those. Uh, so the traps, we're running the basic trap lineup. Two uh, Solemn Warning, two Bottomless, and two Dimensional Prison. Now, I don't know if these belong. I'm sure there's other things that can be better than these. But I feel like these four cards are necessary in pretty much every deck. So, uh, yeah. So please just let me know what you guys think of the trap lineup. All the new cards I've put into the deck. I feel like this uh, deck's better than the last version of it. But I, I can't tell you because I haven't really play tested it enough. Like I said, this deck will be on TCG Player in the link below. It's in the recent deck section as of right now, but I'm not getting a lot of criticism on that page. So any thoughts and ideas you guys have would greatly be appreciated. Um, maybe I can put in the, ri the Rises back in. I was considering another Debris Dragon and possibly another Card Trooper, but that would give me another Earth target, which is, you know, not good for the Dark, Light, and uh, Wind monsters and then I was thinking the quick draw synchron and level eaters too but I don't know I just don't like that whole concept as of right now so uh, hopefully you guys can convince me to add some stuff in take some stuff out it's just not functioning the way I want it to right now but it's still a really competitive and fun deck to play I just still think it's not being utilized to its full potential anyways thanks again for watching like I said the link will be down in the description and uh, yeah so Thanks again for watching. Bye.